Good evening and welcome to this first Saturday show of the Legacy of Queens. Normally we are on Sunday nights, but we're going to be now, as of this weekend, Saturday and Sunday night. That's right, folks. You get us two nights out of the seven, and we're glad to give you more episodes so that our episode numbers can continue to rise. Today is March 11, 2023. And this is episode 69, and tonight we're looking at a great tribute to a guy who's still alive and doing his thing. Yes, he's still doing great at the age of 81. He's an American actor, singer, and game show host known for hosting That's Incredible, Time Machine, and Hollywood Squares in the 80s, and a revival of the $100,000 Pyramid in 1991. Who we're talking about tonight? We're talking about John Hamilton Davidson tonight on The Legacy of Queens. I'm Jason DeCanio, your host for this Legacy of Queens tonight, episode 69, on this first Saturday show of, of course, our third season. Normally, you see us on Sunday nights. We're going to be on there as well, too. But tonight, we're doing two shows, Saturday night and Sunday night. And we start off our first Saturday show ever on episode 69 tonight on March 11, 2023, with John Hamilton Davidson. As you know, the man who hosted uh, the Hollywood Squares mainly for that time period in the 80s. But we're going to look at his life. He is, of course, doing well at the age of 81. But Davidson was born to two Baptist ministers in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, lived in West Bridgewater, Massachusetts, and graduated from White Plains High School in White Plains, New York, before entering Denison University. He thought about following in his parents' footsteps, but ultimately decided that he would rather sing about love than preach it. Davison worked in television programs, including sitcoms, game shows, variety shows, and talk shows. He appeared in the Hallmark Hall of Fame presentation of The Fantastics in 1964 with Ricardo Montalban and Susan Watson. In the summer of 66, he was the host to two primetime variety hours titled The Craft Summer Music Hall and the, the John Davidson Show, which included George Carl, Carlin and Richard Pryor. As the 1980s began, he became well known for hosting alongside Fran Tarkenton and Kathy Lee Crosby, That's Incredible, from 1980 to 84, a human interest stunt theme series whose creation by Alan Landsberg followed in the tradition of the 1950s television show You Asked For It. Davidson made his film debut in The Happiest Millionaire, released in 1967, alongside Leslie Ann Warren and Fred McMurray. That same year, he appeared as a guest singer on The Carol Burnett Show, Season 1, Episode 13. The next year saw Warren and Davidson co-star again in the one and only genuine original family band. In 69, he was the mystery guest on What's My Line with host Wally Bruner. Davidson's career was managed by Alan Bernard, former manager of Andy Williams, and one of the B's from BNB, the largest personal manage, personnel management firm in the 70s. During an appearance on the game show Scrabble in 1987, he told the national television audience that he appeared as an underwear model in the 1959 Sears catalog. He would have been 17 at the time. He made his Broadway debut in the 64 production of Foxy, which starred Burt Lahr. He also appeared in State Fair in 1996. He was a member of the regular repertory company of the short-lived CBS variety show The Entertainers from 64 to 65. He made more than 100 appearances on the original Hollywood Squares during its 66-81 to 81 run. 
And he was a regular player on many anthology and variety series of the 70s and 80s, including The Ed Sullivan Show, The Sonny and Cher Comedy Hour, Love American Style, that was Season 2, Episode 9, Love and the Young and Executive, on November 20th, 1970, The Love Boat, Fantasy Island, and Spencer for Hire. He made numerous appearances on the original Hollywood Squares from the game show's 1966 premiere to its 1981 cancellation, and he was there known for his long-winded bluffs. None of the comparatively minor celebrities who were guests of producers, Merrill Heater and Robert Bob Quigley, were more convincing at getting contestants to believe his often ridiculous answers to questions the program's square master or host entertainer Peter Marshall posed. Most times, Marshall could barely conceal a grin as Davidson started in on some far-fetched but plausible explanations for his answers, often prefaced with something to the effect of, I just read about it in the New England Journal of Medicine. It was a fascinating study, and it said that <laughs> Davidson sold these preposterous stories with such sincerity that contestants were often duped more than once in the same show. In 1973 and 74, he starred alongside Sally Field on the situation comedy The Girl with Something Extra. The Something Extra Field's character had was telepathy. In 1974, he guest starred on the television series The Streets of San Francisco in the episode Mask of Death, portraying a cross-dressing lounge singer who's murder, who murders his or her fans. Well, in the episode, Davidson sings in drag while impersonating such notables as Carol Channing, singing Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. And then in 74, the singer posed near nude with a strategically placed towel for the magazine Cosmopolitan. In 1977, John was present at the Beverly Hills Supper Club Fire in Southgate, Kentucky. He was expected to appear on stage as the headline act at the evening the fire broke out, killing 165. Davidson helped others escape before fleeing through a back door. Davidson's music director, Douglas Harrow, was among the victims. He was not injured and later participated in a charity concert to raise funds for the families of fire victims. In the late 70s, the actor became one of four regular guest hosts, along with Joey Bishop, McLean Stevenson, and Joan Rivers, on The Tonight Show, starring Johnny Carson, and hosted the, the show 87 times. In the early 1980s, he hosted his own talk show produced by Westinghouse Broadcasting Group W after it canceled The Mike Douglas Show. Davidson's show aired daily in syndication from 1980 to 1982. And then in 1985, he hosted the NBC daytime game show Time Machine. Davidson worked with real estate promoter Dave Del Dotto's paid programs during the late 80s and early 90s, which were notable for taking place in outdoor scenic settings such as Hawaii and for having the actor as host. These infomercials, as they have come to be called, often appear on late night television and were a staple for years on many cable channels till the FCC filed a complaint against Del Dotto in 1995 alleging that his paid programs, Del Dotto had, made false and unsubstantiated representations. Davidson hosted a revival of Hollywood Squares, whose announcer, Shadow Stevens, in time also became a regular square, which ran from 1986 to 89. In addition, he hosted a 170-episode revival of the $100,000 Pyramid in 1991. He also appeared as a featured guest on the Carpenters television specials Space Encounters in 77 and Music, Music, Music in 1980. Following his three-year run on Hollywood Squares, he was one of six people who auditioned to host the CBS daytime version of Wheel of Fortune. However, Bob Gowen was hired instead. In the 1960s, Davidson was a successful recording artist. He recorded 12 albums in the 60s and 70s, and from 66 to 71, he recorded for Columbia Records, where he enjoyed his greatest success. Five of his albums reached the Billboard 200 album charts, with 1966's The Time of My Life peaking at number 19. 
His albums usually consisted of covers of recent hit singles along with some new material. As a singles artist, he placed seven records on the adult contemporary chart. Every Time I Sing a Love Song, released in 76, peaked at number seven, which was his most successful single. Davidson acted in many movies, including The Happiest Millionaire, the one and only genuine original family band, Coffee, Tea, or Me, The Concord, Airport 79, Dallas Cowboys Cheerleaders 2, and Edward Scissorhands in 1990. And he has also appeared in productions of A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum, Kismet, State Fair, Man of La Mancha, Chicago, and the Will Rogers Follies at the Surflight Theater in Long Beach Island, New Jersey. He has also performed the autobiographical play Father, Son, and Holy Ghost about his relationship with his father, who was a minister. In July of 1991, Davidson appeared in summer stock with Sacramento Music Circus of Sacramento, California in The Music Man alongside Susan Watson, Richard Paul, Carol Swarbrick, and the Delta Music Society Quartet of Sacramento. He also performed daily in 1993 to 94 in Branson at a theater bearing his name. In late 2011, he was listed as a guest star with the fabulous Palm Springs Follies at the Plaza Theater in Palm Springs, California. Then in June of 2012, he took on the role of Henry in the off-Broadway revival of The Fantastics. In April 2013, he took on the role of The Wizard in the first North American tour of Wicked. Now to 2016, he played Norman Thayer in On Golden Pond at Judson Theater Company. June 2017, he took on the role of Charles Froman, Captain James Hook, in the North American tour of Finding Neverland. David's first marriage was to Jackie Miller. He has two children, John Davidson Jr., who often appeared with his father on later versions of Hollywood Squares, and Jennifer Davidson Kane. Since 1983, Davidson has been married to former backup singer Rhonda Rivera, and they have a daughter, Ashley Davidson. They live primarily in Tamworth, New Hampshire. The son of two Baptist ministers, Davidson now identifies as an atheist, declaring himself openly secular. In a video for the Openly, openly Secular Coalition, begun by the Richard Dawkins Foundation for Reason and Science, the Secular Coalition for America, and other humanist groups. And there you have it. John Davidson, John Hamilton Davidson, at the age of 81, still present in all he does. What a great legacy. And we'll probably find out more about what he's doing nowadays in the 2020s. And maybe he's probably going to hang it up. But why hang it up when you've got something going good? So that's a look at John Hamilton Davidson on this edition of the 69th episode of the Legacy of Queens. Now, tomorrow on our regular scheduled Sunday night, which will be episode 70, we're going to be looking at the next person in our list of people, and that is going to be the American television personality, radio personality, musician, composer, actor, comedian, and writer, who was the first host of The Tonight Show, which was the first late-night television talk show, born and raised in New York City, passed away back in 2000 at the age of 78. We're looking at Stephen Valentine Patrick William Allen, otherwise known as Steve a Stephen Allen, Steve Allen, and we'll look at him tomorrow on episode 70 of The Legacy of Queens. So I hope we entertain you on this Saturday night. We look forward to having you now two nights a week right here at the Legacy of Queens on Spotify, which bought out Anchor, and now it's just one company. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, which has our first two seasons, plus episode 54, which was Abe Vigoda, just got posted yesterday and is already hitting the 50 view mark. So if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, I suggest you join us and welcome to the family. Thanks again for this edition of the John Davidson Legacy. We will see you tomorrow for Steve Allen. From all of us here at 
the legacy of Queens. I'm Jason DiCanio. Remember, be honest, be real, and keep it simple, stupid. Yes. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Thank you.